Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Project Cars 2 where we're going to be taking some more, well one more, GT car around Zolder. This is the Janetta GT4 car with the NX oil or performance or something livery on it. I can't remember exactly but it's an awesome looking car and I'm pumped to be doing this. So let's go ahead, let's get on out here. Yeah, thanks. I think I might kinda be aware that the conditions are really tricky. I've already done this, what, seven times so far? So yeah, I look, I look forward to seeing what this car can do. Oh, already that was very much a kick out the rear end which is just a little bit concerning. Just a little bit. And I'm getting slowly more confident with authentic settings, with traction control and ABS and everything. Does this thing actually have ABS? I think it does. No, it doesn't. All right then. No traction control, no ABS. Which means I guess it's kind of a good test. Yeah, that locked up massively. Let's we'll see if I will be able to handle the GTO cars once we get to them. Which I do want to do soon. Possibly next episode I'll take another shot at GTO cars. Possibly a different one that's not the F40. And maybe I'll have better luck with a car that's not the F40. Who knows, so I think it's just the fact that those cars are incredibly difficult to handle because they're, well, race cars, and they don't have any electronic aids on them or anything. And we lock it up, slide it down in here. That's fine. That's fine. And away we go. Away we go. And down onto the brakes a little bit here for this corner. There we go. Bingo pretty much right on the money. And around here we go, sliding a little bit. A little bit of a dab on the brakes. Power out the other side though, and we pretty much just slid it all the way through there. Which was kind of ridiculous. Gentle on the brakes there, try not to lock it up. Oh, and the car bit and turned sideways. Of course, we're not off the track yet, so come on. So the time's not disqualified. So we'll finish off this lap and this will be our first attempt. I'm only gonna cancel out laps if, well, Project Cars 2 cancels them out. Or if they're like something where I go ahead and I crash the car or something. But for just purely driver mistakes, and the fact that I don't know this car well enough. This will count as our first lap. Now it's going to be a really terrible first lap. But, oh well. And slide it. Oh, and there we go. There we spun it. And now it's been invalidated. So now we have no choice, but this won't be our first valid lap. Now it better not cancel out this next lap because our last sector was invalidated. Of course it will. All right, well, we're just gonna pretend that this is a valid lap, honestly. 
because that's just such BS. Unless there's a reason for this not to be a valid lap. Like, I hate how Project Cars do uh, does that at some point. Like, oh, well, seeing that your last lap was invalid, this lap's gonna be invalid too. Why? I spun it on the last corner. If anything, that's my own fault. I didn't gain any time advantage by doing that. That would be gained on the next lap, or whatever. So, I don't see why that should be the case, but whatever. There's some things I don't agree with on Project Cars 2. That's one of them. But there's not much you can do about it, really. There's not much you can do about it at all. Around the corner we go, sliding it a little bit. We're really chucking it around these corners, and the rear end really is getting loose. Quite a lot. We are working the tires quite well, though. There's only one that's really, like, cold and wet at the moment. The rest of them are pretty dry. Which is always good. It's always good when you have dry tires. Always good indeed. Down through this final chicane. Come on, don't spin it, don't spin- oh, come on, really? Like, honestly? Ah. Uh, there goes our second valid lap. Or our first valid lap, I guess. We gotta push this car a lot more. We gotta push this car a lot more. While also pushing it a lot less in some areas. Come on, get the car turned. There we go. Turn it in again for this corner. I guess it's all kind of the same corner there, but... Power it out the other side here, rear end sliding a little bit. But, oh well. Down towards here we go. One bit of a dab on the brakes. And there we go. Down through here. Onto the brakes once again. Oh, and we didn't stop in time. That was a terrible run down through there. Absolutely terrible. Oh, and we almost spun it there. That was an almost spun it moment. When you're about to spin something, you really just gotta stay on the gas in this car. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You've gotta stay on the gas and hope that it'll correct itself. And down on the brakes under here. A little bit of skidding, but not much. Now keep it off that curb. And there we go, power out the other side. And this car is really not quick at all. 152.6 is our second valid lap. But, pretty sure the other GT4 car we run, ran was even quicker than this. We just got an absolutely terrible run down through there. This car just can't carry any speed. It just slides all over the place and there's, like, you just can't get the power down. Which is disappointing, but... We just walk it up, coming down into here. And we've spun it. Nice. And there we go, this lap's now invalid. Ah. Uh, Alright, so here we go for what will hopefully be our third and final lap. Or valid lap. It'll be like our fifth actual lap, but hopefully it'll be our third and final valid lap. That's just, this car just can't keep speed. Whatever you do, it just can't keep speed. 
which sucks. It absolutely sucks. I was hoping that this car was going to be a little bit more competitive, but it's just not. I guess there's a reason why they don't really sell gen Genetas anymore as an actual road car. And they just have their exclusive racing series for them. And well, apparently they run in GT4s, but I can't imagine many people using them. Here we come down towards here. Yeah, this car just... No control. You hit a curb the wrong... You even look at a curb the wrong way and it just spins. You don't even have to touch it. You just look at the curb the wrong way and it's like, nope. But of course, this is very much one of those tracks where if you want to be quick, you got to kind of run the curbs. Oh, come on. I'm just going to count this as a valve lap. Because honestly... Oh, it was barely a cut. Barely. A bit of a dab on the brakes there. Chuck it around this corner. Straighten it out. And there we go. Blast it out the other side here. And we're actually gaining on our original time. But there we go. I'm just... I don't think I'm even going to bother another time with this car, honestly. Yeah, current and next laps times are going to be invalid. But that was in no part due to me. So, I'm... That's all I'm giving this car. That's all I'm giving this car. This car is just so uncontrollable, and it's just... It's frustrating, to be honest. I can't even do a good donut. So, whatever. Whatever, let's go over to the... Let's go ahead on over to the, um... What's it called? To the leaderboards, yeah, that's... That's what I was talking about. Let's go over to the leaderboards. And see where that 152 puts it. Alright guys, here we are at the leaderboards and the Janetta G55 GT4, I kind of lost where we were, goes down into an 8th place last with a 152.613, which is 4 seconds slower than 7th place which is at a 148.919, and there's not much to say about that. The car just sadly wasn't where I was expecting it to be. For a maker like Janetta that does a lot of purpose-built race cars, I think that's all they do now. They have their own racing series. I was hoping for their cars to be a little more competitive, but oh well, what can you do about it really? And that's going to be it. So if you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment if you like. I will see you guys all in the next one. And don't forget to stay flat out.